Hello, my name is Addison Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com and in this video I'll be talking about more advanced settings, advanced options in regards to the form and list module. So uh, we have started the, uh, to, to, to set up this module in a previous video and in this one we're gonna explore some more advanced options here. Let's, first of all, let's uh, rename this module to stores just so it starts to look a little bit more professional in other pages let's remove allow printing and maximize so it displays a little bit better so here's how it's displaying now in the front end so it stores and we have the list but now this list of stores is very plain very simple and we need to let's say to upgrade it a little bit to to make it to give a little bit of styling to it so to do that let's go back in admin mode and let's go to the action menu to form a list configuration and here we're gonna go under list settings and we're gonna select under CSS we're gonna select uh, YUI uh, data, data, data table styled and we're gonna just save configuration and return so now it's looking a little bit better Here's how, how it's looking like in the in the front end perspective. You can definitely customize the the way this table looks like, the colors and the styling by by going to the root folder of your site and then desktop modules and then the user defined table. And here we have the module.css file which we can open to do a bit of customization. So here's the CSS open. We're just gonna make a small change to the alternate row row style. Let's make this red just to show that this is where it gets changed. If I refresh the site, the color, the background color is coming as red. Let's go back and go back to what it used to be before. And it comes back. So this is how you can customize the look and feel. Now there are other styles as well. If you go to the action menu, go back to formula list configuration and under list settings you can select some built-in style sheets that are that are uh, XSLT based. So those are predefined ones. Uh, let's just select one of those and see how it looks like. Save and save configuration return. So it looks a little bit like what it was originally. Let's go back there. Let's select another one. Um, let's try this one here. Not much different, but you can see that the titles, uh, the title for the columns, they got bold. Uh, let's go back there. Select another one. Card view. I think this one gives it quite a different style. So instead of columns, it comes in a in a kind of a card view. If you know what you're doing, you can also come to the uh, module folder and under XLS style sheets, you can create your own here. But I'm not gonna cover this. But if you if you know what you're doing, you can actually create your own uh, styles from here. Now let's go back to the site. Let's go back to one of the original simple ones let's let's get to the default grid and let's select uh, the table look now let's let's explore a little bit of the other settings of this mod this mod has a bunch of settings I'm not gonna be able to cover them all but um, I, I want to mention a couple that I really find very very useful down here you can see sort column you can specify by default which field should be sorted by default the list sort direction if it's ascending or descending how many records will be shown per page. Just for the sake of test, let's put one record per, pa per page and let's uh, select uh, that it should sort by manager. So let's save this. So it's only showing one record per page. It's showing, yes, we have three records and then we can page through like this. Now let's go back there. We have more options to play around. Formula configuration. Let's let's select that it should show 15 per page. 
Now another very useful setting is a show search box, which we can check and it will now show a search box at the top. Um, but but uh, we first need to indicate which fields we want to search by. Now, originally I have said that the searchable, it was for the search-wide uh, .tatook search, but not really. Actually, this is only for for the internal search, for the module search. If you want the fields or if you don't want the fields to be searchable by the entire site-wide search, there is this option here that says privacy, exclude this module from system-wide search, so you can check or uncheck to make it available to the uh, global search or not available. But the setting here for the show search box, we do have to check uh, the fields that we want to make to make uh, that option available to. So let's select uh, manager, let's edit manager, let's click searchable, let's save this, let's do the same thing for for city, let's click searchable, let's save this, now, search, show search box is checked. Now we can save configuration. And let's have a look at the, from an end user point of view. Now it says uh, search all searchable columns, or I can select a column, let's say manager that contains, and I'm just gonna put uh, John here. So if I click search, uh, the, the record came up, just that one filtered by, by our search condition. We can then reset search, and if I put, let's say, uh, Toronto, just initial letters. If I if I click search, it brings uh, the one because we are searching throughout all searchable columns. Now let's go back to the settings and uh, explore a little bit of more settings, form and list configuration. Then here, if we scroll down, there's also an option that says simple search. If we check that and save configuration, go back to the front end, refresh the page. Uh, now we just have a box, a very simple box. And if I put anything there, it will search through the, the all the searchable fields as it did now. I don't have the option to select which field I want to search by. It search for for all of them. Now to finalize this video, I want to to talk a little bit about the the permissions of this module, this the options under. If I go back uh, to the uh, action menu and go under settings, I have many many different options under permissions. Instead of having just view module and edit module, which are the two standard ones, we have a bunch of more options here. We can say who has uh, the right to edit a record, to delete a record, to create and submit uh, records, to display our columns. Again, lots of options here because uh, actually this module, you can also open it to allow end users uh, to fill out information. You can you can have other different uh, objectives with, with uh, those uh, by using this module. For instance, just on top of my head, you can have users entering restaurants that they want to see featured in the website or something like that. Basically, you can allow uh, end users to, to submit information as well. So here's where you can control that. You can allow all users to create records. So you can check this box, okay? And combine it to this, we also have some advanced options here, like uh, to, to have a, a capture control forcing an anonymous user to, to enter that to avoid spam. Uh, we have uh, we can have uh, users being able to manipulate their own entries, their own records, and a bunch more here. You can even specify how many uh, records each user can create in, in the module. So again, very, very flexible the module you can use with many, many, in many, many different circumstances, many, many different situations. Okay, so basically this is it for now. Those were the advanced options that I wanted to cover in regards to the form and list module of .NET Nook. Thank you very much, bye for now.